turning around. We know that God is able to turn it around. We know all things work together to, uh, uh, together for the good of them that believe and are called according, uh, called according to His purpose. Amen. He will turn around every situation. Amen. Things that we see this seems to be bad. Amen. But we do, we do see it turning into good. Amen. When we're persecuted, it can be turned into good. Amen. It was, amen. My dad said, Amen. That person that, Amen. Yesterday, brother, was preaching St. Patrick's Day. Brother Jamie got a beer can through and hit him in the head. But that could be turned around for good. Amen. It could be conviction. Amen. It will fall and save that man's life. We know it ain't the will of God for somebody to throw a beer can at somebody. But I do believe God can be good, you know, can be glorified through such a thing. So anything that happens can be turned around for the good. Anything for the believer, amen, can be turned around for the good. Well, thank you, musicians. We'll just go ahead and get into the Word. Amen. Proverbs chapter number 4, verse number 23. Amen. We'll read through verse number 27. 23, I've quoted it. Just over and over and over, I know. Amen. I preach out of 23, but amen. What a, amen. What a wonderful and amen. Amen. Important verse this is. Amen. But amen. Proverbs 23, I know 4 and 23. Proverbs chapter number 4, verse number 23. We'll read through verse number 27. Amen. Proverbs chapter number, amen, 4 and 23. Then we'll go over, we'll go over to. Amen. First Timothy chapter number four and one. Amen. Read that, and I've got some other reading to do. But um, Amen. So, but I'll let you sit down after after these two Proverbs four and twenty three. Amen. Keep thy heart with all diligence, for out of it are the issues of life. Put away from thee a forward mouth and perverse lips. Put uh, put far from thee. Let thine eyes look right on the uh, uh, right on, and let thine eyelids look straight before thee. Ponder the path of, of thy feet, and let all thy ways be established. Turn not to the right hand, nor to the left. Remove thy feet from evil. Now we'll just we'll go over this one passage here. Said I got some more I'll read here in a moment, but amen. First Timothy chapter number four in one. Man, just a verse here to reference the times that we live in. Amen. Do believe we live in this latter times and it's talking about and now the spirit a spirit speaketh expressly that in the latter times some shall depart from the faith giving heed to seducing spirits and doctrines of devils. If you would just pray with me, Lord, I thank you for bringing us here. Lord, I ask you to anoint me, Lord, for without your anointing, I can do nothing, God, but we do know by that anointing that you're able to help, able to challenge, to convict, to work. Lord, do a work that only you are able to do. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We, well, you can read in 1 Peter chapter number 5 and 8. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. Amen. Amen. John 10 and 10 tells us the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill, and destroy. Amen. Amen. We, amen. You can go, keep, you can read many about people guarding themselves. Amen. Or keeping, which means a guard. Amen. It says in Proverbs 22 and 5, thorns and the snares are in the way. And the froward, he, he, the, uh, the, uh, uh, the, uh, the way of the froward, he that keepeth, uh, keep his soul shall be far from them. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and 9, it says, only take heed to thyself and keep thy soul diligently, lest thou forget things which thine eyes have kept, uh, have, uh, have seen, and lest thou, dep- uh, th- they depart from thee, uh, from thy heart. All the days of thy life, but teach them to your sons and your sons and thy sons 
sons. The heat man of Mark chapter number 14 and 38. Watch and pray that you enter not into temptation. The spirit is truly ready, but the flesh is weak. Amen. We, amen. You, you can read many places in the scripture where it talks about such. But, amen. We are living in perilous times. Amen. The Bible said in the last days there will be perilous times. And where I read to you in 1 Peter chapter 4 and 8, now the Spirit speaks expressly to the church in the latter times. Some shall depart from the faith, giving heed to seducing seduce spirits and doctrines of devils. I do believe that we are living in that latter time. High now. Amen. I don't know. Amen. How close for sure that it is to the coming of Christ. But I do know we are nearing that coming of Christ. We are definitely nearer to that time than it, when it was pinned down here by Apostle Paul to Timothy. Amen. But we are nearing that time of the coming, uh, coming of Christ. Amen. We knew no deception runs rampant. Amen. People are being deceived. Amen. We see it more and more that people are deceived with a lie. Amen. People fall for something that is extra. Amen. Are not at all biblical. And amen. We must Beware. Amen. We see antinomianism. Amen. The, uh, the thought of no law that we can uh, that we live in sin every day, it runs rampant. Yeah. Most churches and most what calls itself Pentecost believe that. Amen. I've read some of a book that my dad bought me. Keep amen. I read a little bit of it this week and didn't get to read much of it. But amen. I want to I, and something I want to finish soon, but it talks about the amen the, the how that doctrine come in that we live sinful every day. Amen. And it crept in. Amen. If we're not careful, that will be us. We see we are living in a time, amen, and not just to say exception. Evil men are waxing worse and worse. As I mentioned about the parade we went to yesterday, I see things, amen, quickly escalating. Amen. It's not, amen, amen, it's not, amen. I've seen, amen, some we're very wicked times, violent times, but i see something that, amen, that i probably never seen in almost my, in my almost nine years of open air evangelism yesterday. People act like animals. Amen. We see times are wrapping up. Amen. We see, amen, sins abound greatly. Sin abounds greatly. Sin is everywhere. It's in church. Amen. Churches, it runs rapid even in churches. And my dad said that probably was a deacon. And how correct that is. Amen. There's people that claim to be Christian that is full of sin everywhere. Our mind, amen. Amen. Persecution is running, starting to run rampant. Amen. America, we have been shielded from it, but I see it, amen, rapidly pushing towards us. Amen. Then pretty soon, they're going to have legalized persecution. Amen. We see this. Our minds are being fought. Amen. Our homes are being attacked. Amen. Our churches are being attacked. Amen. Our soul. Amen. Everything about us is being attacked. We are living in very trying, perilous, evil times. Amen. Amen. It, 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 this is no time to let our guard down. And that's what I'm going to preach. Amen. It's a bad time. Or a dangerous time to let your uh, let your guard down. Amen. We must beware. Amen. I read to you in Proverbs and in many other verses it tells us to keep. Amen. It tells us in Proverbs that to keep thine heart with all diligence, for out of this are the issues of life. That word keep it simply means. Guard. Amen. That we would guard ourselves. Amen. That we guard everything about us. First of all, we must guard our hearts. We must keep our hearts guarded at all times. Amen. Amen. Jay, more than important. Amen. We know that that blood pump is not what it's talking about, but it's talking about the center of man. Amen. Where his soul. We must Guard that soul. Amen. That human body depends upon that heart. And we depend upon that spiritual heart for everything. 
Our soul is fire. We must guard ourselves. We must keep ourselves. Amen. Our hearts. Amen. Must be kept. We must keep it from sin. Carnality. Amen. If we are leave a place for our heart to become deceived. Amen. Or to become. Amen. Become deceived. Or let sin in. Our carnality in. It will very quickly creep its way in. Yes. We must. Beware. We must guard our hearts and our minds. Amen. How we must guard our, uh, guard our minds. And we've talked about it much. Amen. And I do believe, amen, it to be true. Amen. How, amen, uh, amen, just in the last several years, we see an intense attack on the mind. Amen. The mind is under attack. And it's not just in a couple of years, in the last couple of years. It's truly throughout the, amen, this 6,000 years, this earth has been here. Amen. We see an attack on the mind. He wants to attack that intellect. He wants to get in that mind and work in that mind till he twists it all, or the enemy does, till he twists it all up and destroys that mind. Amen. I'm not talking about just, amen, mental problems. I'm talking about taking that mind and molding it to the image of what this world is. We are not to have carnal minds. The carnal mind is enmity or hatred against God. And it's not subject to the law of God. Neither it can indeed can be. But I'm going to tell you the enemy, he comes and attacks my mind. and works on my mind so he can get me to think and trying to get me to think what he would have me to think. What did he do with, uh, with, uh, with um, Adam and Eve? We see it from the very beginning. He, he questioned God and tried to play tricks with their minds. Well, hath God not said? Amen. He's been doing that forever. And he wants to play tricks with your mind. It is a bad time to let your guard down. How dangerous it is that you let your guard down on your mind and open up your mind to something that's not of God. Amen. He way man. We must guard our families. How vital it is that we guard our families. Lord, help me to do even better to guard my children away from deception. Amen. I don't want to. Amen. There's so many things. Amen. I can't let my children do. Amen. Even things that call is called Christian. Why? Because, amen, their minds are impressionable. And if I let them be a part of that, amen, they will, amen, it's very, amen, very likely they could become deceived. I am commanded to train up my children. But I'm going to tell you, we must guard our families. Amen. And we must guard, amen, our church. Amen. How vital it is that we Guard this church. I do believe the enemy is after our families, our heart, our hearts, minds, families, but he's also after our church. He's after, amen, the, uh, amen, the entirety of the church. His goal is to destroy the church. Amen. And he's done, amen, he's done, amen, he's done it in many places. Amen, churches that once preached truth, amen, are a shell of what they once was. Amen, preachers that once preached truth are now living in open sin and still claiming to be a preacher. Amen, Christians, people that claim to be Christian are sitting on church pews, living in fornication, and now not only stop there, living in homosexuality. Amen. We see it running rampant. Amen. We see a very big push for homosexuality to be accepted in the church. Amen. And it's very rapidly moving that way. Amen. We must guard our church. Amen. Now we so we would say that will, that will never be us. Amen. Amen. And I, Lord, forbid that it ever be us. But if we don't guard ourselves, that will become us. We will fall away. Amen. Amen. Do we are not above that as if we don't guard our church. I want to guard this church. I refuse to let that leaven in. Amen. I'm going to guard it with everything in me. I'm gonna, I don't want to let leaven in my family, myself, my family, my, uh, amen, or this local assembly. We must beware of it. Guard yourselves. 
Take a stand. Amen. And amen. Amen. The last thing we must guard is what we believe. Amen. How vital that we believe rightly. Amen. Amen. What belief is important. But I want to tell you, amen, how we know what to believe is just what this Bible says. I want, amen. My, amen, my view on everything. If the Bible says it, it's true. If it doesn't, it's wrong. Amen. If the Bible's for it, I'm for it. If it's against it, I'm against it. If God loves it, I love it. If He hates it, I hate it. Amen. That must be what we view. Amen. That must be where our belief comes from. If we're not careful though, we will be molded into what Satan would have us to do. Amen. He told them in the garden, he messed with their minds. Amen. And their beliefs had God not said, you'll, amen, amen, and you shall not surely die. He, amen, twisted what God said to make them believe what he wanted them to believe. He, they, uh, he knew, he said, he knows in that you're going to be as God. Amen. Knowing right from wrong. He twisted what God said. Amen. To make it, make them to believe what he wanted them to believe. If we're not careful, we will become deceived. What must we do to guard ourselves though? Amen. First of all, we must put ourselves on the defense. Amen. We must defend ourselves. Amen. We must put, amen, keep our eyes in the right place. Our ears in the right place. Amen. I don't want to put my eyes on something that's going to cause me to stumble. Amen. Well, I must keep, amen. If I'm going to keep this mind right, it's very important where I put my eyes and my ears. Amen. What I partake in. The things that I partake in. Who I fellowship with. What I do. Amen. The people I'm around. What I read. What, amen. Definitely what I watch if I watch anything. Amen. What I listen to. What I put in myself. If I'm not careful, I will become deceived. Amen. amen. One of the very important thing of guarding yourself is not to listen to the devil or to look upon what the devil would have you to look on. Now the devil uses all kinds of things to play games with you. He's not going to just talk to you in your ear. He's going to use people. He's going to use things you listen to. Preachers. Amen. Amen. He's going to use many things to deceive. Amen. Amen. We must truly beware. Amen. He's going to use things that you look upon. Amen. Things that are appealing. Amen. Yes, he will. Amen. To men, he'll use uh, women. And women, he'll use men. But not only that, he's going to use that that looks innocent. That looks good. That looks appealing. Amen. He's going to use big churches. Amen. Or amen churches. Amen. The, the, amen. Uh, different church. Uh, different church things. Amen. He's going to use. Amen. What a lot of truth. Mixed in with a little bit of a lie to completely destroy. Right. We know a little leaven leaveneth the whole lump. He uses a little bit. Amen. I do believe Satan mixed in some truth that lie is the, the, uh, that lie that he gave to Adam and Eve. Amen. He comes as an angel of light. Amen. 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 We look at it. Amen. I'm a very studious person. I've become that. Amen. I wasn't that as a child. My dad pushed for me to do that. Amen. Eventually, I come and conform to that. But I love to read stuff, listen to stuff. But I'm going to tell you, I must be careful what I let in my ears. Amen. amen. Calvinists, they're very studious. They read, amen, they study. We see much Pentecost that there's very little emphasis on theology, which I believe is to our demise, to, to the Pentecostal church's demise. But I'm going to tell you, we must be careful just because someone seems intelligent and has some things right, we must be aware of. Amen. amen. Be careful what we let our eyes in our ears on. We must first build a wall. Amen. I, amen. We see, we hear so much of it. If you turn on KSBJ, which I tell you, 
Don't. Amen. Don't turn on KSBJ. It's garbage, ungodly. Amen. Amen. You might get one good thing out of uh, 10,000. But amen. I doubt even that. Amen. Amen. Maybe maybe 0.1% is good. Amen. But amen. Everything else is garbage. Amen. We might even you hear about tearing down walls. Amen. That's not scriptural. We read a whole book of the Bible about rebuilding walls. Let us rebuild that wall. Put a wall around our hearts, our minds, that we don't become deceived. I want my I want to have a high wall. Amen. People tell me all the time, don't shelter your children. Amen. You're going to push them away. I want to tell you, they're wrong. I'm going to shelter my children as far as much as I can. I want to keep them away from evil as long as I can. I want to build a high wall around this church to keep deception out of this church. Amen. I want to build a high wall around my own mind, my own heart, that I don't become deceived. We must build a wall. Defend what we have. Yes. Amen. Yes. Defense is vital. How important that wall was in them days. How they needed that for defense. Amen. Yes. So the enemy Praise didn't God. creep in. Well, we, man, yes. we need that for defense in our life. Yes. So the enemy don't creep in. I don't want, amen. And we must not let any holes in our wall. I want to have a high wall, but I want to have it completely. Poor, amen, completely up. I don't want to be as Jeebus was. Amen, as my dad preached that message about them crawling. Amen, it was the enemy. It was good that they took that city. But I'm going to tell you, amen, but I don't want to be as that. I don't want to have any weak spots in my wall. I must have a strong wall built. We must be sober. Have unclouded minds. Amen. It's hard to be watchful. It's hard to be on the defense if you're clouded with everything else. Amen. I see it leads to much of the people's demise when they get too wrapped up with anything in the natural life. Amen. There's a lot of things is innocent. Amen. I think it's great to take care of your body. But if you, yes. amen, your whole focus is taking right. care of your uh, this uh, this hour tip, when I can do better with it, amen, I plan to try soon. Amen. This way, amen, I've been saying this next week. Amen. I said that a lot of times, but amen. But I'm, amen, it's good to do. But I'm going to tell you, that must, you must not get so wrapped up in that that you forget about your walk with God. Amen. Good. So wrapped up in being busy. Amen. I'm going to tell you, amen, if you're not careful, you'll be so busy you have no time for God. Amen. Busyness is not necessarily a bad thing. I think idle time is a bad thing. Amen. If you, but I'm going to tell you, instead of having idle time, find something spiritual to do with that idol at that time instead of just making yourself so busy you can't have any time for the spiritual amen lord help me to do that jobs are good but i don't want to be clouded in my mind with my job oh amen sure i must perform my job rightly amen but oh we must have a sober mind have unclouded mind that watchman cannot be a very good watchman if his mind is clouded. We must beware. We must be vigilant. Amen. Amen. To be watchful. Amen. Of course, the sober and vigilant goes together. Amen. That we that we don't have a cloud cloud of mind, so we can't be watchful. Watch our surroundings. Watch what's going on around you. Is if you hear anything about a defense, Amen. Amen. How will you defend yourselves outside of Amen? Being up. Uh, Amen. Be a uh, uh, being, uh, uh, being watchful. Amen. Amen. Watch your surroundings. When I go to Houston, Amen, which has become a very dangerous city, I watch what's going on around me. Except when I'm preaching, I probably forget about watching what's going on around my surroundings. But if I'm walking around, Amen, I'm watching what's going on around me because I could become a victim of a robbery or anything else. Be watchful. Amen. Amen. We must. Amen. Amen. We must not just put ourselves on the defense, though. We must put ourselves on the offense. Amen. Have our weapons ready to fight. 
Amen. Bring the end battle to where they are. This is part of defense and offense. Amen. We must put on, they, we must take on the sword of the Spirit, take our weapon, and have it ready. Be read up in the Scriptures. That's the advice. It's vital that we read these Scriptures that we to guard ourselves. I need this Bible to guard myself. If I don't know what it says, I'm not going to be able to guard myself. It's wonderful to study out and know, amen, how to argue against things. I love studying things. I've studied cessationism out for six, almost, probably almost six months now. Amen. I, amen. I, amen. I, and I'm more convinced that cessation is a doctrine of the devil now than I've ever been. Amen. Amen. I study Calvinism out. Antinomian. Them out. But even more important than that, study what God says out, and you're gonna not going to be become deceived by a lie. Amen. Amen. I must go and girt my loins with truth. Put truth on me. Amen. I must put on that breastplate of righteousness. Put my feet, I shod my feet with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Put on that, get, take that shield of faith, that helmet of salvation. Amen. We must have that whole armor of God on. We must, we must take on prayer. We must put amen. Be ready. Be in battle ready. I guess this is a lot of defense. Be in battle ready. Amen. Being ready at all times because the enemy will very quickly come to you. But I don't only want to be defensive, I want to be offensive. Amen. There is a, there is a time to stand your ground and just be watchful where you're at. But there's also a time to, to go and uh, to, to uh, go and put attack on the devil. We must fight. Him. I'm not going to just wait for the devil to attack me. I'm going to go attack his kingdom. Amen. Try to destroy him. My goal is to glorify God. And part of that is destroying the kingdom of Satan. Amen. I don't want to just wait for the enemy to come attack me. But I want to fight him with everything in me. I want to fight against that devil. Amen. Amen. We may not agree with everything Billy Sunday said, but he said, I'm going to fight alcohol till, amen, to my dying breath. Amen. As I have a fist, I'm going to punch it. If I don't have a fist, I'm going to kick it. If I don't have any feet, I'm going to bite it. If I don't have any teeth anymore, I'm going to gum it to death. Amen. He believed in taking that battle against Satan to him. Amen. I'm going to stand against that enemy. I'm going to fight. I'm going to go to war, praying, seeking God, and fighting His kingdom by going out and declaring Jesus to this kingdom of Satan. We must do that. And we, amen, if we will put our, we will guard ourselves rightly, we can and we must remain victorious in Christ. You can be have, have yourself guarded at all times. I do believe in Christ. We, uh, we are victorious. Not we can be victorious. If I remain in Christ and walking in the Spirit, I'm going to remain victorious. When I step in this flesh, I'm going to quickly be defeated. We must walk in this Spirit in Christ at all times. Keeping our eyes on Jesus and walking in the Spirit and you will live a victorious life. But amen, if you're not careful, you will quickly become deceived by Satan. Lord, help us never to become deceived. Pray. Get on your face and pray. None of this is truly possible outside of a prayer life. Amen. That we would pray Amen. And I left that out. Amen. I had that in my notes. But truly none of this is possible outside of seeking God. You're not going to live victorious. You're not going to be great in the defense or the offense without praying, seeking God. We need His Word. We need prayer. And we will remain victorious. Amen, Lord. Help me to battle Satan. Lord, help me to overcome that enemy that comes my way, and also to go out and fight against that enemy with my dying breath. Amen. Let us stand to our feet, come to these altars, 
and see God this morning.